Hi, good afternoon. Silver and Sidiel here. This is a quick uh, message uh, which I'm putting out there because it has come to my knowledge that uh, uh, on the 7th of September at 6.30 a.m., the Home Office in the UK have scheduled to charter flights from London to Jamaica, um, deporting over 50 Jamaicans. And uh, what is happening is that this will be the first known charter flight to Jamaica from the UK since 6th of November 2014. This Wednesday, 7th of September at 6.30 a.m., an organization called Unity Centre have been in contact with over 50 people currently detained across the UK's immigration detention estate, said to be forcibly removed on Wednesday. And my question, which I'm putting out there, is is the authorities, authorities in Jamaica is aware of this? Is the Prime Minister aware of this? Is the Minister of National Security aware of this? Uh, is this anything that is in link with the plan that the former Prime Minister David Cameron have in regards to building prison? Is there some sort of plan is in place? Um, I don't know, and I'm just asking the question. I tend not to just jump on things without getting the, the, the facts. But I want this to be shared um, because what I'm getting to understand is that the, the people that now face the portion uh, were snatched from signing, detained when reporting to the Home Office, never been convicted of crimes. Operation Nixus is in full swing, meaning that the police collude with the Home Office in order to build cases against people. Um, if people have criminal conviction, they have done their time. Uh, it is deemed that this is a racist double punishment. And of course, what the organizers are saying, black lives do not matter to the Home Office. Charter flies, flights cost the UK government hundreds of thousands of pounds. The government spend the money at a the time. They're also making catastrophic cuts. I understand that today there are going to be a, a meeting or a demonstration at the Jamaica High Commission uh, today at four o'clock between four to five thirty, uh, which is a Prince Consort Road. So I'm just actually just bringing this to our knowledge and uh, forced to ask the questions. And please do, do share this. Do share this um, with your different groups, different organizations, and to let us ask a question as to what sort of policy is in place. Because I understand that many of the persons who are uh, families here who are being deported, they've been living here for all the, most, of, most of their life. But unfortunately, uh, one of the things that the former Deputy High Commissioner Aluna Samba will talk about is that the papers are not regularized. So therefore, that needs to be regularized. But in the meantime, there is indeed an issue and you know criminals are criminals but sometimes people just find themselves in the the wrong place the wrong time and uh and unfortunately this is the situation but in 2014 there was an issue whereby this was about to happen and there was a demonstration or a complete um coordinated um uh rejection of this and the plane was turned back so what the organizers are asking for is for that plane not to be accepted in Jamaica and for it to be turned back with the 50 deportees. Now, it is good to get to the bottom of it. So I'm just putting this one out, but please do share it um, to your groups. Let's have a discussion on that. Put it to the Prime Minister of Jamaica, the opposition, um, opposition um, bunting and uh, different persons to really get to the bottom of it. Uh, we, we need to look out for our people at the same time while we're here in the UK and we need the coordinated support of all. So that is just my public service announcement um, from Silburn. Thank you very much and have a good day. And please comment, like and share. Let us hear what you say. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.